Damn, that's a fucking nasty ass knot. And people see it all the time, never say shit about it. Like, I question if that's a tumor. I also question if it has anything to do with my childhood. And I'm trying to think. <laughs> that could also impair my thinking. I don't know. I've always thought, what is the significance to that? And what does it add value or uh, diminish value to who the hell I am? But for the fact that people think I'm a great person, good person, decent person, blah, this, blah, that. Clearly, depending on who you're asking, the perspective and the uh, compliment or the insult is going to change. But overall, I know I'm not a bad person because... Mm, if I ever go for politics, ladies and gentlemen, pay attention to how many people come out the woodwork. Because once you do something important, people tend to try to stop you because, ooh, no, 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 you should never have that prestige. Remember how much you hurt me? I can only hurt you if I ignore you, and that's because you're trying to kill me. And I want to kill me, not you. Fuck your attention. Attention's on me because I'm living my life like attention should be on you because you're living yours. I'm just saying. But then again, some people won't come out of the woodwork because of... Well, they did molest me. They did rape me, but $15,000, $15,000, $100,000, $100,000, $300,000, $300,000, $1,000, $1,000, $2 million, $2 million. That ass whooping that caused me to not remember anything because they caused me to have a brain contusion. And the fact they also murdered one of my family members too because the fact that I told them I was going to tell the truth and they're like, no, you're not. I said, yes, I was. And I was like, they're like, no, you're not. I said, yes, I was. And they sent me my Aunt Becky's pink shoe and I was like, oh. And I still told them, well, shit, Aunt Becky wasn't even my favorite. I don't know why the fuck you're watching my Facebook memories. Those shits are fucking old as hell. So I told them, told them I was going to tell the truth. Like, no, you're not. I was like, yes, I am. As I was going to tell the truth, they fucking jumped me. So I was like, well, now I lost my Aunt Becky. Got an ass whooping and they gave me $1,000 instead of the original deal because I said I was going to. And they're just like, fuck it. We're just going to give you this because, well, what else can we take from you aside from your health? Well, your life. Also, the theory for my knot is also the same theory for my left hand. Did something stupid when I was young and bam, never thought about it ever again. <laughs> or maybe that's what, I don't know. I do realize people have suppressed childhoods because of the trauma is so damn bad that the brain will take care of you regardless if you realize it or not. So like for as much random shit as I remember, I don't, I've never had a memory about what happened to my left arm. I've never had a memory of what the fuck happened in the back of my head. Everything else, like if you ask me, cause I have scars lining up my whole entire body from head to toe and I don't think any other penis. Because clearly that's going to be considered an STD. But like from head to toe, thank you, Lord, my nut and my face has basically stayed safe-ish. Like both heads are good. Except for once I did have a scar next to my eye that was so old. Like some dude threw a stick. His sister wanted to check it out. But I wouldn't let her. So she hit me in the balls because I wouldn't let her see my face. How the fuck does that work? So you want to cause me pain somewhere else? That's the only reason I remember it so well. And also I had a crush on his sister. She was also gothic and older, of course.